Hello, Kelly Blatnick with Blatnick Law here to discuss the means test of bankruptcy. When a debtor is attempting to file for a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, the courts require that the debtor calculate something called the means test. The idea is to make sure that people with sufficient money and funds to pay their debts actually pay their debts and don't errantly go to the bankruptcy court when true bankruptcy protection is not necessary. Simply stated, if a Chapter 7 petitioner's income is less than the median income for that state, that debtor is going to pass the means test. As of the recording of this video, which is May 2020, an example would be in Nevada for a household of one person, the debtor would pass the means test if the debtor earned no more than $41,054 for the last year. In Florida, it would be 51,559, and in Utah, 49,347. What do you do if you make more money than the means test? That does not necessarily mean that you cannot file for bankruptcy protection. What that does mean is that you would then potentially look at chapter 13 versus chapter seven and be on a payment plan, or your petition would need to set forth extraordinary reasons that your income is either too high or imputed as too high or that there are some extraordinary circumstances that warrant you being able to file a chapter 7 bankruptcy versus a chapter 13.